Hello guys, uh, you've probably seen the fish I've caught right here. <coughs> um, what I'm going to do is show you the rig I caught it on, right? That's one of them wheels. Um, wide my uh, big mouth size 4 0, right? And that's a ch uh, Sakuma Chinu hook size 3 0. <coughs> okay, and I've got them attached to two and a half foot long. I've got amnesia on this, right? It's good stuff at amnesia. Two and a half foot long trace to a swivel, right? And then what I use because of its durability and ruggedness like yeah is um greased weasel for this to this bit the uh, main body main rig body right because uh you've got a bead running along it right you can't get you can use different beads you don't have to use these ones i was trying these ones like here see how these perform and they seem to be pretty good in the tide and that here this this setup holds pretty well in the tide like this um they don't get hardly any bounce right the only thing you've got to do with this right here we're using these clips um is just attach it, obviously you find a way to attach them to there i used i used the ring on that right it's worked perfect yeah right um no problem with that at all um and then again using these lads elasticated on there so that don't move that's had a, that's had, that's had quite a few chucks out that right here uh so, same with my other <coughs> a couple of other lads there as well like that set with the elastic like that right here and it hasn't budged stay there keeps them aerodynamic as well like that right because before, I didn't mention it before, right, but that bit sliding up creates like a parachute. It slows your lead down here. Now, because it because it, so it's hard up against the lead, it's aerodynamic and you get a smooth, a better cast. And then, obviously, right, this is the uh, thing with this rig right here. Yeah, this is the, the key component in this rig, right? It's an up, it's a pulley up and over, it is right here. I'm just making, you know, going on about it a little bit, like, but there you go. Um, this is what caught me that fish. <clears throat> and to be fair, all my other fish, right, where I fish at the moment, um, they've all been caught on the bottom. I've never had anything that's yeah, be, I had on the bottom, like, yeah, I've used long pulleys, um, nothing ever on them. And then switch over to hard bottom fishing right here and bang fish all the time like a because I got I got a suspicion right here that the way that the water flows in the river, right, that it's dirtier higher up in the column and a bit clearer further down in the column. With it and further in the middle of the channel, the ground's harder so there's not as much mud settling there like this, so it's a bit clearer in my opinion. That's what's happening on the nurse and Congers and bass have got excellent eyesight anyway, right? So, anyway, that's the rig that caught me the fish, and um, similar similar rigs caught me the congers. I was using <coughs> just the running legend and clipping on like that, right? And just, just lobbing it out, yeah? Getting a good enough distance, like. I'm getting a little bit more distance with this, so I can cast further up or downside yeah. Um or whatever like it, because you could put massive bait on this now, right? But, um, just trick to this, yeah. Right, hang your hook. If you're having problems with these things, right? Yeah, that's the tip of these, right? Wrapped in your own line, dude. Come on, get off there. Oh yeah, I've used the rig tubing on the panel on that as well, look. 
right that helps present the beat much better much better on the hooks macro flappers and it's just you can see the with this rig like you can see the tip of your rod going like that because your beats flowing in the side like that here yeah? and it's all connected especially i use some um, copolymer the line which is like no no memory in it so you get a more accurate um indication on the end of your rod <clears throat> So anyway, right, and then you rigged up like you. Yeah. Again. Get off. Tip it in, right. Hang the hook. And then, like I said, I've got a two and a half foot trace there, set up nicely for the caster. But I've also used pulley droppers in there, right, yeah, and. Uh, no, has no success. <coughs> so I set up there, and then you got your release clip up here. Did have it? It's easier when it's on the rod. Trust me. And it's hanging there. Right, and the clip like that. And that's released, and the hooks. And the hook comes out of there, Hush. and it hooks out. That's released. The whole thing's on the floor, flowing in the water, doing this lovely job catching fish. There you go, guys. Um, the other option as well is just to use a shorter pulley rigger, short pulley rig, so it's like two foot um, hard on the bottom of the pulley rigger. Um, like I said for like running ledges as well they work these two got flappers never had anything on, on um, uh, top hooks on two hook flappers all the fish on uh, two hook flappers have all been on the bottom hook I was including the other bass that I caught as well I was on the two hook flapper on the bottom hook white and and conger bottom hook Thanks for watching guys, peace out.